My name's Emma Cowley. I'm a lecturer at the University of Plymouth um, in podiatry. Uh, I've got a special interest in musculoskeletal conditions. So these are conditions of the joints and the muscles and, and uh, bones of the body. Um, so I practice clinically and I'm also an active researcher and I teach. I've been doing it for 25 years. So feet and knees and hips and spines are all clearly connected. They share some of the same structures such as the fascia, their bones connect, um, some of the muscles cross two of the joints, so maybe the hip and the knee together. Um, so they are connected, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the feet cause hip pain or the hips cause knee pain. It's a little bit more complicated than that, as I keep saying. However, there are some uh, things that we do know about the interaction between feet and knees and hips, for example. Um, so some people have quite low arched feet, as we've talked about uh, to some extent already. And this has been found to be associated with people who have knee osteoarthritis. So um, when they have pain in their knees, it's very, very common knee osteoarthritis um, in people over 50. Um, so if you have a low arched foot, the chances are you might have knee arthritis as well. Um, so this is the kind of uh, arthritis that's very common, not the rheumatoid arthritis that, that might affect your hands uh, in the same way. Similarly, if you have a very highly arched foot, that's been shown to be associated with hip pain more, so hip arthritis a little bit more. So again, there's no cause and effect here. It's just an association that's been noted in the literature. Um, but I would say that based on that, it might be worth us being a little bit sensible about how we view things. If you see somebody who's got a very flat foot, you might think you might be at more of risk of developing knee arthritis maybe. So if you notice that that foot's changing shape and it's becoming flatter, I would say that's absolutely a trigger to go and get a consultation with a health professional, a podiatrist ideally, who can manage that change in foot posture and possibly offset the risk of developing knee arthritis. Mm -hmm.